to send emails at mydomain.com. But I want to use Gmail because it's awesome. And I want to do it all for free. Let's send some emails coming up. The easiest way to send emails with your domain through Gmail is to just pay Google and use their service G Suite. Problem with that is it's gonna cost you like five bucks a month per email. Uh, nobody wants to pay that much. Uh, I don't wanna pay that much, I wanna do it for free. So this video is gonna be focusing on how to do that. Okay, we can do this in six steps, four of which you've probably already done. For each step, there's gonna be a link in the description for whatever you need to know that I don't feel like covering in this video. Uh, if I skip over something, it's pretty simple. You can figure it out. Step one, uh, you need a free Gmail account. Real easy, link in the description on how to do it. You probably already have one. Step two, you need to purchase your own domain name. Uh, these aren't free, you gotta buy them, it sucks. I usually get mine from Namecheap, link in the description if you uh, wanna buy from there too. If not, I don't care where you get it from, it'll work no matter what. Step three is you need to buy hosting. Uh, doesn't matter where you get hosting, pretty much any place will work for this. Uh, I, for this example, I'm using Bluehost, but it would work with like SiteGround or HostGator or wherever the heck you get it from. Uh, links in the description on where to get that. And if you need to set up your domain with hosting, contact their customer support. They'll be able to take care of you. Step four, you're gonna log into your Bluehost account. Uh, I have one set up for ghostgenie.com. It's a site that I never used, but uh, it'll work for this example. Uh, so you log into the home page and then you're going to click on the advanced tab on the left. Now this could change as time passes. Uh, so you just got to find where their email management is if you're watching this in the future. But in the present, you click their advanced tab, uh, go to email accounts. Then you are going to click create, uh, pick your domain, give it a username my test user at ghostgenie.com enter password whatever you feel like uh, all your standard email settings and click create boom we did it got an email step five we've got to forward all incoming email that hits that address to the free gmail account that we created in step one let's do it on the manage email page you're going to click Check email. You're gonna scroll down and click forwarders. And then you're gonna click add forwarders. And then you're gonna forward to your free Gmail account that you created. Now go ahead and give that a test. Uh, you should be able to send an email to the account that you just created and it should forward it to your free account. All right, step six, final step. Now that your email's forwarding, all you gotta do is go into your Gmail and you're gonna send all of your emails as an alias. So what this is gonna allow you to do is just use your free Gmail account and uh, send emails as yourdomain.com. Super cool. Okay, so pull Gmail up and then you click settings, counts and imports, and then you're going to send mail as, you click add another email address. Uh, here you just put your name and then whatever your other email address is. So I believe it was like my test user at ghostgenie.com. Here's an alias. All right, now you're gonna get this box and this is gonna look real confusing to you. So the SMTP server is going to be mail.yourdomain.com. So whatever your domain is, put there in place of ghostgenie. Uh, the username is going to be the email that you created in the other steps. So uh, my test user at ghostgenie.com. Uh, and then the password is going to be the password that you used to create the email account. So I hope you remembered what that was. So then you're just gonna enter that in and then click add account. Okay, now you're gonna get this screen, and on this screen what you have to do is you have to verify that you are the owner of that email. So go check your uh, email account over on Bluehost and you should have a verification code that you can enter into this. Okay, final step. So you are going to go over to accounts and import, uh, send mail as, and that email address that you created should be there. Uh, and then you are going to click the make default button uh, over on the right, and then from here on out, every email you send using this free email address is going to send as this custom domain that you created. Pretty nifty, right? So that was a lot of work and things could go wrong 
if Bluehost or whoever your email provider is sucks and like their forwarding crashes or something like that. So you may find it's just easier for you to just pay Google the five bucks a month for them to set this up for you because it's gonna be a lot more dependable. The problem with that is now you get another payment every month and if you don't feel like paying anymore, you gotta move all of your old emails or else you won't be able to access them. Uh, but if you're okay with that, uh, sign up for G Suite. It's pretty simple, the link's in the description. Um, and that's just an easier way to do this. Okay, final point is if you don't have hosting, uh, there's an email service called Zoho Mail that's free, I say free. The problem with Zoho Mail is when you do the forwarding step, they're gonna charge you a dollar a month per email. Uh, so it ends up being you know five times cheaper than G Suite, but also a big pain in the butt and maybe you should just pay for G Suite if you're gonna be paying people. And that's it, I hope this video helped you out and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot.